Welcome to Care Coordination and Interoperable Health IT Systems Data-Driven Care Coordination Strategy. This is Lecture A, Care Coordination Data Evaluation. This unit provides data-driven care coordination strategies for successful transfer of patient care information through improved use of technology and analytics. In this lecture, we consider the value propositions for delineating measurements in aspects of shared patient information, care delivery, and communication across the care continuum. When analyzed appropriately, these measurements can improve health outcomes, provider and patient satisfaction, and decrease total costs of care for our defined population. The objectives for this unit Data-Driven Care Coordination Strategy, Lecture A, R2, Identify Care Coordination Data Sources, and Demonstrate Care Coordination Effectiveness Using Analytics. Data from a variety of sources can be used to coordinate patient care. EHRs can contribute accurate data in a discrete form for practice-based population health analytics. Electronic health records systems data include primary care physician practice EHRs, specialty physician EHRs, facilities, programs, and services EHRs, and integrated health systems EHRs. Public health departments data to coordinate patient care includes disease surveillance data, public health alerts and recommendations, as well as supply population health data. Potential patient population data sources to coordinate patients' care includes patient and family portals data, care management data, telehealth and telemonitoring data, care coordination programs data, and research data. Additionally, Potential patient population data sources to coordinate patient care includes EHR systems data, physician quality reporting system or PQRS data, meaningful use data, survey data, and health risk assessments data. Data from a variety of sources can be used to coordinate patient care. These include Integrated Systems Electronic Health Technology Systems Data, Health Plans or HEDIS Data, Health Information Exchange or HIE Data Sources, Third-Party Payer Data, and Specialty Care Data, Hospital and Facilities Data, Post-Acute Programs and Service Organization Data, Radiology Laboratory and Pharmacy Data, federal, state, and municipal health and human services department data, and centers for disease control data. Systematic processes and information technology enhance the care coordination, safety, and quality of patient care. Practices meeting PCMH standards have established information connections between patients and other providers that allow physicians to know and use patient histories, follow up with patients and other providers, manage patient populations and use evidence-based care, and employ electronic tools to prevent medical errors. Analytic tools to evaluate efficiency of coordination strategies include the Institute for Healthcare Improvement, or IHI, commercially available software and applications for qualitative analysis, commercially available software and applications for qualitative analysis, customized and or commercial software products that monitor and collect data downloadable into an Excel spreadsheet for manipulation and analysis, as well as Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, AHRQ, Patient-Centered Medical Home Evaluation Guidelines. Care coordination evaluation analysis tools include fuzzy set analysis, statistical process control, logic models, formative evaluation, and private and public tools. Care coordination processes facilitated by information technology systems protect, 
collect, and provide necessary patient health information that is used as measurable and comparative data such as demographics, clinical notes, medication management information, registries information and data, measurements and performance reporting, and much more. Care coordination related patient data collected in the patient-centered medical home or PCMH can be analyzed to evaluate the efficiency of care coordination strategies by using the simple Plan, Do, Study, Act PDSA model for improvement. PCMH models can perform simple analysis of care coordination processes and plan outcome improvement strategies by using the Institute for Healthcare Improvement, IHI, very simple yet powerful free tool for testing and analyzing changes on a small scale using Plan, Do, Study, Act, PDSA cycles for accelerating improvement, model for improvement developed by the Associates in Process Improvement. This analysis asks, what are we trying to accomplish? How do we know that a change is an improvement? And what changes can we make that will result in improvement? For in-depth analysis and evaluation of healthcare technology systems data, available analytics programs use models that correlate your data with the care coordination outcomes and make recommendations for changes to the levers identified. Analysts work closely with clinicians because they need to understand care coordination well enough to be able to recognize whether the results of the models are meaningful and relevant. The capacity and expertise of analysts and analytical tools is critical to correlating the data and building models capable to predict PCMH care coordination outcomes. Consider all factors, even if you may not be able to collect data on all of them and you may not have enough practices to control for each factor in regression analyses to estimate impacts. Practice or organization specific factors include, for example, patient demographics and language, size of patient panels, practice ownership, number and type of clinicians and staff, practice leadership and teamwork, and so on. Factors describing the larger healthcare environment include practice patterns of other providers, such as specialists and hospital patterns, community resources, and payment approaches of payers. Intervention components should include aspects of the intervention that vary across the practices in your study, such as type and amount of services delivered to provide patient-centered, comprehensive, coordinated, accessible care with a systematic focus on quality and safety, measure capturing variation across intervention practices in the offer and receipt of technical assistance to help practices transform, additional payments to providers and practices, and regular feedback on selected patient outcomes, such as healthcare utilization, quality, and cost metrics. Expert analysis tools include STATA, which is a commercially available, general purpose, statistical software package with capabilities that include data management, statistical analysis, graphics, simulations, regression, and custom programming. Another expert analysis tool is Apache PIG, which is also a commercially available platform for processing and analyzing large data sets. PIG consists of high-level language for expressing data analysis programs paired with the framework for processing these programs. Logic models, or a model for theory of change, are useful for showing why and how an intervention might improve outcomes. Analysts and clinicians work together to describe the theory of change. The logic model will guide what to measure and when to do so. Because primary care coordination interventions take place in the context of the internal practice and the external healthcare environments, the logic model should identify factors that might affect outcomes, either directly or indirectly, by affecting implementation of the intervention. Logic model resources can be found at the following sources, whose websites are all also cited at the end of this lecture. 
a guide to real-world evaluations of primary care interventions from the Patient-Centered Medical Home Resource Center, Logic Model Workbook from Innovation Network Incorporated in Washington, D.C., Peterson, Taylor, and Pike's Logic Models, the Foundation to Implement, Study, and Refine Patient-Centered Medical Home Models, W.K. Kellogg Foundation's Logic Model Development Guide, and the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality's AHRQ's homepage. This concludes Lecture A, Care Coordination Data Evaluation of Unit 12, Data-Driven Care Coordination Strategy. In summary, this lecture covered how data from a variety of sources can be used to coordinate patient care, analytic tools to evaluate efficiency of coordination strategies, and future opportunities and challenges of using information to increase interoperability.